Hello everyone, welcome to tech for you Today I am going to show you how to implement AND gate on Altera D2115 board. The purpose of this tutorial is to introduce you to the Altera CAD tools and the DE2115 FPGA development boards from Altera in the shortest possible time. The format is an aggressive introduction to a schematic for those who want to get started quickly. The approach is tutorial and utilizes a path that is similar to most digital design processes. In this tutorial, we are going to design an AND gate using switch from the Altera board. Although we are using DE2115 Altera board for the sake of this tutorial, any other boards will follow the same procedure. You will just need to change the pin numbers according to the board which I will discuss later in this tutorial. So to complete this project, we are going to use Quartus from Altera of version 15. So as you can see, this is the main window of Altera. So we are going to create a new project, which we can do from here, or we can go to File and press New Project Wizard, which will open this window. We will press Next and then select a directory on the desktop. We will make a new folder named AND gate and we will select it and we will name the project as well as top level design entity of the project same. So we will press next again and then we will select our board which is uh, this one 2967 the last number. We will press next and then finish making a new project. Since we are going to design an AND gate using schematic and not using Verilog or VSDL in this tutorial, we will go to File and press New. Here we will select Block Diagram or Schematic File and press OK. Then we will press Symbol Tool and go to Primitives and Other and then select AND gate with two input. Next, we need to define input and output pins. For that, we will click symbol tool again and go to primitives and pin and then select input and output pins respectively as you can see. We will connect these pins by clicking and dragging to the respective ports as shown. We will rename input as IN1 and IN2 respectively and output as OUT. It can be done by double clicking the names. Now we need to define which pins from Altera board we are going to use to implement AND GET. For this we will go to Assignments, Pin Planner. Here we will write the port's name in the node name and we need to define the pin number. We can select pin according to the specification sheets which is provided by Altera. This file is attached as a link in the description. We are assigning pin underscore AB28 and pin underscore AC28 as input pins which are associated with switch 1 and switch 2 on the Altera board. And output is assigned as pin underscore G19 which is a red LED on Altera board.
it will also be reflected on the schematic as well. Now we need to compile in order to test the design. For this, go to processing and then click start compilation. In the end, there should be zero errors, which means that it was compiled successfully. Don't worry about the warnings for now, we will deal with it later. To burn this compiled file onto the physical board, we will go to tools and then programmer. Here, if no hardware is displayed, press hardware setup and select USB blaster. You might need to install the driver for the device. Usually, the device does it automatically after you plug it to your PC. Then, press auto detect and select your device. In this case, 115 is the device. Since no file is selected, double click it and then select the .sof file extension from the output files which was generated after the compilation. Programmer configure and press start to load the compiled file onto the board. As you can see, after compilation is done, the blinking stops. Now, when we press S0 and S1, that is switch 0 and switch 1 together to on, we will see the LED are glows. In all other cases, the LED is off, which shows the correct working of AND gate. I hope you like this tutorial. Please like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to share. If you have any other suggestions, please leave comment. Thank you.